All right, thanks for stopping by. So it's Monday morning. I am leaving Gila Bend, and I'm going up to Goodyear, Arizona. I've got a doctor's appointment. And did you ever see green, lush farms like this in the desert? There's the irrigation channel right there on the side of the road. It's just a big ditch that they pump water through and irrigate all this land and turn it from dry desert into lush fields of spinach and kale and all kind of green vegetables. I'm taking the scenic route. I'm, I'm not taking Interstate 10 up. Uh, I will have to get on it eventually, but just for a few miles. So I left early this morning to give myself plenty of time. Got a lot of errands to run today. Got to dump trash, get water, get groceries, and then meet back up with Amanda out in Buckeye. So I will check back in with you once we get settled into a campsite. And we're only going to be there one night and then off to Yuma. Okay, we found a spot. Not that great, but it'll work for one night. This is out at the Buckeye BLM land. Never camped in this campsite before. Not my favorite, but, you know, it will work fine for one night. Hey, Winston. It's been a busy day, but I got all my errands done. Got my doctor's appointment done. Got groceries done. Dumped trash. Got water. So, I'm good to go. Time to travel for a while. And check Amanda's channel for her video today, and she will show you how we fixed her v 1500 watt hour power station. This is it. She plugged in her solar. Plugs in right there on an Anderson plug and nothing happened. There was no wattage coming in. And we tried another panel, still nothing. Turns out, I peered up in the, the port there and it was just dirty. So I cleaned it out with a Q-tip and WD-40 and guess what? Fixed it. So, the moral of the story is, if you have the same problem, check the input to make sure it's not just full of desert dust. And if it comes with a cover like that, keep it on there. Keep the dust out. So this is not a very good spot, but it'll do for one night. See, it's, we got people all over the place out here. They're spread out, but so are the campsites. You know, there's dedicated sites out here. It's not like you just pull off the road anywhere you want. So this is not the place we usually stay out here. It's, uh, it's over that way. And then we have another spot. We stay right up by the front. But this will do. And it's free, so... <laughs> Can't beat that, it's my favorite price. So when we get to Yuma, should be a lot of good interesting things to show you there, cannot wait. And the weather is supposed to be fantastic for an entire week. But I will say goodbye for now and I will leave you with a jamming tune. Thanks for watching, take care, be well, and smash the bell.
Okay.